<laughs> All right, lesson 26 here. Um, it is a uh, almost like a repeat lesson, but it's with a different approach. It's our friend, the algorithm, which is means we're not using a visual here. OK, again, I like the visuals because it helps you organize the problems there. But there's a lot of times we feel like we can just set it up. So here's what we're after here. Um, here's what your ratios look like. It's always the part over the whole. All right. Now, the thing about it is, is let's think about it. What's percent always out of? Percent is always out of 100. That's the part and that's the whole. So as long as we set it up as part to whole, all right, and again, the percent is always the part out of the 100 because the whole amount is percent is out of 100. Um, those things that we're watching for. Now, um, a lot of times we're going to be able to kind of read into the problem and figure out what's the whole amount, what's the part amount. And sometimes you're going to have a little frustration for it. So there are some magical words to watch for, like of. Of always represents whole, all right? In the vocabulary, that is the whole amount. The word that represents the part, the word is. All right, so those are indicator words as we kind of go through it. So let's see what we got here. Uh, we got five of the 25 girls um, on the middle school soccer team are seventh graders. Find the percentage of seventh grade girls that are on the team. All right, um, I don't want the two different methods. We're going all algorithm here. So um, I, here's the thing is, I know it, again, I know it's going to be a ratio. Who's in the lower right-hand corner always? All right, yeah, 100, because it's always out of 100. Now, who's always above the 100? The percentage. Did they give me a percentage? Uh, no, they didn't. Okay, so this is what I'm solving for. So because this is what I'm solving for, we can leave this blank. You can put an X in there because that's what you're solving for. Um, I say we just leave it blank for right now. Now, it says here five of the 25 girls. So what amount represents the part of the team? Well, the part is the five. What's the whole amount of team? 25 because it tells you there's 25 girls on the soccer team. Now, let's dig a little bit deeper. Look who's there. Here we go. Five of the 25. So of meaning whole amount. Yeah. So um, we want the percent. What you going to do? Uh, yep. Times it by four. So five times four does give me a 20. But we want the percent. Again, percent's always out of 100 there. So it is 20%. That's it. All right. That's it. Again, I don't need the visuals here. I just need to use the whole idea of part over a whole. So um, again, as we set this up, all right, I know who's in the lower right hand corner. 100. I know the percent's going to be there. So um, I notice I haven't even read the question yet. Uh, oh, hey, 40 percent. I know it's going to be a 40 up there. OK, so again, there's a lot of things we can just automatically kind of just chuck right in there. And then we got to analyze a little bit. So let's see, of the 25 girls on the soccer team, 40% also play on the travel team. How many girls on the middle school team play on the travel team? Okay, so again, of the 25 girls that are on the soccer team, there are 25 girls on the soccer team. That is the whole amount. I also see that word of, and of is with the 25. So again, we can use that to kind of help ourselves out. We want to figure out how many girls are on the middle school team and play on the travel team. So this is what I'm after. So um, here's the thing. We always like to start on the side that has the two numbers. OK, so that's this side. And then we always like the numbers that are across from each other. So I'm going to start here at the 100. What you going to do to get to the 25? Well, you're going to divide by 4. So take that 40 and divide it by 4. What you get? Yeah, you get 10. So how many girls also play there? 10 girls. All right, because that is what we were after. So um, that's a nice little circle I got working there, isn't it? A little, I guess more like an oval. I like that. Uh, sorry, I, I've digressed there a little bit. Um, so again, watch your setup, all right? Watch how you're plugging it in. And again, the algorithm method. Um, it, it is something we're going to give you the choice as to what to use. Uh, a lot of you will like to uh, simply jump uh, jump ship from that visual there. So we got the, uh, again, the soccer team, all right? 80% of their games this season. So again, if you want to go right away, you know, you know, part to whole, uh, the per percent over the 100 always right away okay now the team won 12 games okay how many games did they play now here we go here's the thing about it is nowhere nowhere do i see that word is and nowhere do i see that word of now whoa, wait a second wait a second it says of right there all right of their games this season do i know how many games they have this season well, the 12. The 12 is how many they won. All right. So that's not all their games this season. So I can actually use that. I'm trying to figure out that whole amount. The team won 12 games. Thinking if we think about it, part to whole. Um, 12 is the part that they won out of the 
whole entire season. So this is what we're after. So um, as much as you're like, ew, 12 and 80, uh, hey, let's simplify. Oh my goodness, look, this fraction simplifies. Let's divide them both by 10 and see what happens. So then that becomes uh, that becomes an, an 8, and, and that ends up becoming a 10. Now we can go even further here. What does 8 tenths simplify to? Yeah, it simplifies to 4 fifths. And now look, oh my goodness, what do you do to 4 to get to 12? You can times it by three so what, what, what's five times three all right i should have crossed that one out there it is a 15 so it is 15 games now if you didn't like that all right we can go on back we got 12 over something 80 over 100 if you reach for your calculator and figure out hmm, what do i do to 80 to get to 100 now this is where it gets weird people okay um and, and this is why the simplifying is nice because i think you're going to see it better what do you do to get from 80 to 12? Well, I don't know what to multiply by, so I have to type in a division problem. So if you type in 12 divided by 80 into your calculator, hang on tight here, people. Hang on tight. This is what it says. 1500s. 1500s. And let's think about it. I'm going to have to multiply 80 by a number smaller than 1 because that's the only way I can get down to 12. So if you take your calculator and you multiply 100 times the 15 hundreds yes you will get yourself 15 so some of you are going to be like i don't like that decimal that kind of makes me feel uneasy um if that's the case, all right, if you're looking at it and you're thinking that, yeah, y y it just looks evil to you, um, simplify your fractions, people. Simplify your fractions. Get whole numbers. Oh, I think you're going to see it so much nicer that way. I am going to be endorsing the simplifying, okay? Uh, I'll let you know. Simplify, simplify, simplify. But yes, yes, you can make use of the calculator. All right, so here we go. Um, in these particular problems, they haven't given us any sort of context at all. But remember our key words. Of is always your whole amount, is is always your part. All right, and remember it is part over whole percent out of 100. All right, so right away we can get going here. 100 in the lower right hand corner, 25, 25%, hey, 25. All right, um, of, of 80, of is always the whole amount. So there we go. All right, again, I'm going to encourage you to simplify here. Um, I'm going to divide them both by 25. Yeah, so that's a 1, and that's a 4. So now I can go, oh, there we go. 4 times 20 is 80. So multiply by 20. 1 times 20 is, is 20. So 20 is my answer. Again, I don't have any context of what 20 what, um, so it's just a flat-out 20. All right, what is 16% of 50? Okay, well, all right, do, 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 do. always 100, always the percent, there's my 16. Um, of 50, all right, of is the whole amount, so that's got to go down there. All right, again, I'm going to look to simplify here. Um, I'm not as sure about this, I'm just divided by 2, so that's going to give me a 50, all right, and then that's going to give me an 8, and I'm going to go, you know what, I could divide by 2 again. So that's going to give me a 4, and that's going to give me a 25. Now, look at this here. Look at this. This happens sometimes. Oh, my goodness. 25 times what? I can't simplify anymore. What am I doing? Okay, this is where, yeah, you're just going to have to deal with the decimals here. So 25 times what is 25? I don't know. So we're going to type in a division problem. So if you reach for your calculator, you do need to type in 15 divided by 25. All right, when you do that, yes, you are going to get a decimal there. That's fine. Um, you're going to get 6 tenths. That is what you are going to multiply by. All right, so you are going to have to multiply by 6 tenths. If you're not sure, check it. Grab a calculator. Type in 25 times 6 tenths. It'll tell you, all right, it'll tell you that it's 15. So multiply that 4 by that 6 tenths, and you get, yeah, uh, 2 and 4 tenths. All right. So, um, yeah, sometimes, you know what? Um, it's not going to come out uh, as clean, but this is where we have to trust our concepts there. All right. Um, we just got two more here. So let's see. 90% uh, of what number? Okay, so 90 over 100, percent over 100. 45 is, woo, 45. And oh my goodness, this is so nice. What do you do to 90 to get to 45? You divide by two, it is half of it. So chop it in half, people. Chop 100 in half and you get, it is a 50. So 50 is my answer. All right. Um, so again, your your number sense here. And again, if you need to reach for the calculator, reach for the calculator. Just make sure you're watching the direction that you're going. Um, 30 out of 100 because percent's always out of 100. All right. So of a number is 39. So um, is is there we go. 
All right, so I'm going to simplify this to see what happens. Um, divide them both by, yeah, 10. So that's a 3, and, 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 and that's a 10. And oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what do you multiply 3 by to get to 39? Okay, you could type in your division problem. You're going to see it's 13. So let's multiply by 13. All right, 130. Now, if you're not sure about this, you're like, mm, I don't know about what I've got written here. Watch this. Um, your answer there is, you're saying, uh, what's the original number? You're, okay, so we're saying the answer is 130. If you write this fraction out, 39 over 130, and I say, hey, change it to a percent, I should get 30. Well, reach for your calculator. Type in 39 divided by 130. Go ahead, do it. Do it. All right. What, did, what does your calculator say? Your calculator says 0.3. If you change that into a percent, you go two spots to the right. Who's there? It's 30%. Yes. Yeah. So um, again, we've got things of checking it if you're unsure. And that's just one of the things you just got to kind of do. All right. All right, people. That's all that we got for you. All right. Um, just in case it is your birthday. If it's not, uh, consider it belated or consider it early.